and in the year 2021 i made rupees this year i just got monetized on youtube using the youtube ads and i wanted to show you how much i made in 2021 using youtube adsense with a channel who has lesser than 10000 subscribers so i have my laptop you have with me and i'm going to take you through the entire month process on how much i made which were my top performing videos and at the end how much i made in one year of getting monetized so june was the month my youtube channel just got monetized and in that month i uploaded a couple of shorts and a couple of youtube videos as you can see over here at the end i posted this um, ikea vlog then i have a couple of Amazon tops haul I have uploaded a lot of shorts in this month and even some YouTube videos so this month as I just got monetized I earned 35 rupees which is a bit less but I mean you know what it's fine it's fine I kind of accepted that expected that accepted so my rpm for the month of June was rupees three. RPM is basically revenue per mile, which is what you get, and CPM is basically the cost which is included, which you know YouTube takes. So, for example, if you earn ten thousand rupees, YouTube will take I think forty percent of it, and you will get sixty percent of it. CPM is called as cost per mile, and RPM is called as revenue per mile. CPM is basically the commission which is included by YouTube themselves. So whatever you get paid is your CPM, okay? And forty percent of that is what YouTube takes it, and after that, what is left is your RPM. So RPM is basically, you know, I'm getting three rupees per thousand videos, which is very very less and let me just show you the top performing videos in that month were my ikea vlog which made me 5 rupees my mars crayon um, lipstick videos watches gave me 4 rupees uh, how to get on pr list gave me 4 rupees my makeup collection video gave me 2 rupees in july i had 16000 views i had 500 hours of watch time and i did upload Let's just see. I uploaded one, two, three, five long-form content videos in the month of July. I earned six hundred and forty-three rupees. Now this is a bit less. Again, I would say there were some days I earned the most was forty-five rupees, fifty rupees, and fifty-seven rupees. Now let's take a look at my higher-performing videos. My RPM in this month is way higher than the month of June. So my RPM is fifty-two rupees. So the per per thousand views. i'm getting 52 rupees and my playback cpm is 120 rupees now my highest performing video in that month is the k beauty color correcting video this went viral because k beauty launched their color correctors and everyone was searching for it so i uploaded it on time next up again mars cosmetics lipstick video my biggest pr haul how to get on pr list all of these videos have performed well in the past as well hence they are top earning videos so the k beauty video made me 150 rupees in that month in the month of august i made 304 rupees a little bit less than july now i did not upload many videos in the month of august as you can see i have uploaded one two and i think that's about it after that i have uploaded a lot of shorts so i uploaded only two long form videos hence you know my uh, revenue for that month is down which is only up to 304 rupees and as you know youtube shorts aren't really monetized so you know you don't really earn on them so i just earned 304 rupees and now let's see the higher performing videos for that month now my rpm here is 37 rupees bit less than the last month but last month i posted five long form videos and my cpm is again 99 rupees now my highest earning video is the bobby bon bobby brown skin foundation review video this is 36 rupees and my how to create a media kit which is for 24 rupees again the k beauty which was trending last month is now making me 20 made me 20 rupees this month now let's move on to the month of september again i was really you know not really active on youtube in the month of september so if you see over here my estimated revenue is 414 rupees and my rpm is 45 rupees and my playback cpm is 
114 rupees. Usually RPM and CPM depends on the type of videos you are posting. So it is a educational video in you know uh, fields such as marketing. If you are teaching something, your CPM, your RPM will be higher. However, if you are creating videos which are uh, you know like beauty food related something like that then your CPM and RPM will be lower I will make a video on why does that happen so where your audience is viewing your videos from the country they are viewing from also plays a very important factor hence you know it matters you know if your audience is from US or UK Canada all of those countries your CPM your RPM will be higher and then you will earn more However, if your audience is from India or all other countries from Thailand, all of that, then your CPM, RPM will be lower. So that is basically an overview which I wanted to tell you about the CPM and RPM. In September, I made 414 rupees. My RPM was 45 rupees and my playback CPM was 114 rupees. Uh, the video which made me the most money is the Nykaa All Day Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This again launched in that month. So I uploaded a video again when it launched then and there and that video made me 103 rupees. The K-Beauty Color Correcting Primers again made me 41 rupees and then the Bobby Brown Foundation video which we saw made me again 30 rupees this month. How to pitch brand for collaborations uh, made me 24 rupees and how to create a media kit made me 23 rupees. Now in the month of October, I uploaded 5 long form videos and I made 522 rupees. Now my RPM is 68 rupees and my CPM is 157 rupees. And my top earning videos for this month were I moved out which made me 51 rupees. Bobby Brown video which again was trending in the last two videos. The Mars eyeshadow palettes, the K Beauty color corrector which was again Again, trending in the top uh, last two months and the best and most products from Maybelline this is the video I created in this month now in November I made 496 rupees again very similar to the past few months my CPM is 161 rupees and my RPM is 69.94 rupees and the top earning videos for this month were the huge PR haul which I uploaded again in that month as well and this month I uploaded only two videos but still this made me great money in the previous few months when I wasn't really active. The months made me less money but this month I made a little bit more money. And the top earning videos were a huge PR haul. This is the video uploaded in this month itself. The Bobby Brown video which is trending and top earnings in the past few months. Again the next one we have K-Beauty color correcting video, the Mars eyeshadow palettes and how to pitch brands for collaborations. So these were the top earning videos for me for the month of November. And lastly, now let's move on to the month of December. I did Vlogmas this month and I uploaded 15 videos. In the month of December, I earned the most amount of money which is 856 rupees. And my RPM has been the highest of 84 rupees. And my playback CPM is 199 rupees. Now my highest earning videos are my huge makeup collection which I posted during Vlogmas. Best Makeup of 2020 which I posted again this month. How I Manifested My Dream House which I posted again this month. K-Beauty Color Correcting video which I posted I guess it was in June or July. And then the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation video which I posted in February. So these were the videos which were on the top earning in the month of December. And if you see in that way I have earned 3,273 rupees in 6 months of being monetized on YouTube. Now is that a lot? No. But is it good for passive income? I would say hell yes. I was kind of expecting this when I first got monetized. I knew that I wasn't going to get any check from YouTube at least in this year. So I am you know didn't have my expectations too high. And if you want the amount in dollars, I earned $43.85 this year from YouTube AdSense only. Now YouTube pays you after you have crossed the threshold of $100. So it's going to take me some time, but I am happy about it. Now let me show you something very, very interesting. So the videos which paid me a lot of money this year is the K-Beauty color correcting video which made me 330 rupees, the Bobbi Brown video which made me 222 rupees, Mars Cosmetics video uh, which made me 149 rupees, how to create a media kit 
made me 146 rupees again a lot of other makeup makeup videos which made me that and so on and so forth now if you see the top performing videos are not the videos which I've just posted. These are the videos which I've posted months and months ago. So the videos which you see which are on my top earning ones, I created them and I posted them and uploaded them months before even I was monetized. And now that my channel, channel is monetized, it is making me money, which is kind of a passive income. And since YouTube is a search engine, I've uploaded most of them which are, you know, searched based photo videos. So they are making me money now the cpm and rpm for the k beauty video which made me the most money is 79 rupees and uh, the bobby brown one is 76 rupees i feel like with the beauty videos the cpm rpm is kind of similar now let's look at the cpm and rpm of other videos now let me show you the videos which has the highest rpm so first one is my makeup collection video which i literally posted one week ago and it has an rpm of 175 rupees which is insane next one we have is how i manifested my dream house which is at 164 rpm and a cpm of 370 rupees next up i have the best high-end makeup of 2021 which is at 258 of rpm and 400 of cpm again i have a theory about the topics of the video and why their rpm and cpm is a bit higher and the next one the insane amount of cpm is the lacme 9 to 5 uh, foundation review video which has 2800 of a cpm and rpm of 101 rupees and lastly my makeup organization video or a vlog which I did which is for 147 rupees is this RPM and CPM is 249 rupees who you are targeting you know the audience with the videos is very important like I said the specific country your viewers watch your videos in the higher the C RPM gets also the type of videos which your audience watches for example if you are a tech channel if you post videos about Samsung phone, Oppo, Vivo, all of that, your CPM and RPM might be a bit lower. If you post videos about iPhones, your RPM might be higher. I feel like the same condition is here a little bit when it comes to the high-end makeup or the high-end products which I am reviewing about right now. Those kind of videos are getting a little bit higher RPM and CPM than the other drugstore videos which I've posted as you can see clearly over here. The top performing videos which made me money weren't even the videos which I posted in these six months of getting monetized. Those were the videos which I posted months ago and they are making me money now which is passive income. So you are going to do the same thing for yourself. Now after getting monetized I've learned so much about YouTube, the CPM, RPM and really understanding my audience and the target audience and learning on how I can earn more money in 2022. So what are your thoughts on this one? I kind of expected I wouldn't be earning a lot more, but I'm excited to see what YouTube brings for me and how my content evolves and grows as I post very, very consistently over here. And if you have made any money from YouTube in 2021, leave it in the comments down below. I would love to know your thoughts on this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.